Hey YouTube, welcome back to The New Mechanic. My name's Randy and that's my E46. Today, we're gonna be starting work on changing the leather seats in my car to cinnamon. It's gonna be awesome. Stay tuned, you're not gonna wanna miss it. Here's the problem that we have with the car currently. Everything just looks old and worn, right? The leather seats, anywhere that there's a, there's a crack, you can see that it's kind of grayed out a little bit. You know, it's not as black as it could have been. So the seats look old. The vinyl in the car, similar situation. You know, it, it looks a little bit faded. It's not as black as it could be. Uh, there's, you know, just things about it that it just doesn't look great. And then the wooden trim, it's so outdated that I need to get rid of it. We need the aluminum in here. I think it'll really brighten up the car. So the floor is also very dirty, so we're gonna clean up that. And uh, a lot of the, the plastic trim is in the same, similar situation. It's, it's uh, scratched and it just looks really old as well. So here's the goal. We're gonna revamp this entire interior and make it look like it just came from the factory. And I think it's gonna look really, really good when we're done. So here are the three things that we're gonna be doing. We're gonna be dyeing these leather seats a cinnamon color. Next up, we're gonna do all the vinyl in here and repaint it black. And after that, all this like wooden trim that we have in here, we're gonna be going ahead and putting a vinyl wrap on it that has an aluminum finish on it. So when we're done, I think it's gonna look really good. All right, so the very first thing that we gotta do is take out these seats, disassemble them, and get them cleaned up. From there, we can go ahead and start dyeing them. And uh, that's basically gonna use a spray gun to dye them. Uh, it's kind of like painting, but you just do really, really thin coats. After that, we can go ahead and put the top coat on, reassemble the seats, and uh, finish all the, the vinyl in here, uh, this uh, paneling as well, and then we're done. So this probably won't all get done in this one episode, but uh, I think this will be a fun project and I hope you enjoy it and let me know if you have any comments or suggestions. And uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and get started. Starting with the front seats, both the passenger side and the driver side are identical in the process. There are four bolts that hold the seat down to the frame and there's one bolt that holds the seat belt into place. Uh, and then there's also a connector for the power seat. So what we're gonna have to do is do all five bolts first uh, then we're gonna have to disconnect the battery and then we can disconnect the connector. So what I'm gonna do is both bolts on all the bolts on both sides, then disconnect the battery and then we'll do that and then we'll remove the seats. Now we can go ahead and slide the seat the whole way forward and uh, we'll get to the back ones. I'm also gonna tilt the seat forward for now. Now from the back seat, we're gonna go ahead and get these two. These are actually bolts that go in, whereas the fronts were nuts. Great, now we're gonna go ahead and raise the seat so we can get the seat belt. Then I'm gonna lower it back down and then we can get the plugs out. I always like to put the bolt back in so we don't lose it. Here we go. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side and then we'll disconnect the battery so we can get the plugs. Now we should be able to just lean this back then we have this fancy little doohickey. This thing, this black plastic piece just slides out and then the wiring harness disconnects. Next up, we got the back seat. I think these are a little bit different based on whatever car you have and whether or not these are foldable. So this is my car. And I think on this one, you just literally just pull up. Hey, look at that, and that whole cushion just comes out. We take the headrests off. Yeah. 
Now we can go ahead and remove this back panel. Uh, from what I saw, you basically just pull up on this and it should pop out. We'll do it on the other side and then we'll do it up here as well. And then there's two little more places that you have to pull up and then it should slide right out. So hopefully we don't break anything, but I guess we'll see. Looks like it might be easier if you remove the panel, interior panel first down here. That guy just pops right up. All right, so we got that unhooked. I'm gonna take off the panel right here as well, which you might not be able to see too well. Yeah, it's right down here. And then we're gonna take that one off and then pull up on that again. All right, now we have a ton of room for activities. And let's just look at all this crap that's built up over the years. How dirty that is. Ugh. All right, let's get to work. So I actually haven't done a ton of research on how to take these seats apart. Uh, but I did find out that I do need a T45 to try to take the back off the bottom part. So that's the first thing we're gonna do. And then we're gonna try to take off the plastic pieces. That way we can paint just the leather and not worry about masking off all the plastic. And with a little bit of playing, I was able to wiggle this guy free. So there's four clips that hold this plastic piece on. There's one up here, one underneath, one underneath over there, and one on the back side as well, along with a Torx bolt that we just took out. Uh, the two on the top are the hardest ones because you kind of have to, I've been prying with my fingers for a bit. Uh, there's a little tab in here that we got to push down. So I'm going to try this without breaking it, of course. There we go. All righty. Now we should have access to the T45 that we need on this side. There it is. There's a second one. So we're gonna have to undo this hog tie so we can peel this, this leather back. There we go, we got palm tie done. And there's the other bolt we gotta get out. All right, T40 it is. There we go. Two pieces. Oh man, that was a lot more work than I thought it would be. Uh, but the good news is we got all the seats out of the car. We got the back seats, the front seats, and the front seats we've disassembled uh, most of the way. The bottom part of the seat, still has some plastic trim that we have to take off, but once that's off, then we're ready to clean the seats really thoroughly, and then we'll be able to spray the adhesion promoter on. And once that's on, then we can go ahead and dye the seats, and uh, we should see what the colors are really gonna look like, and I'm super excited for that. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Really do appreciate it. If you like the video, hit the thumbs up button, subscribe. And uh, again, thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you next time.